Page six now, the Soviet Union of America, Illinois, New York, and California have effectively broken off from the rest of the country now, adhering to a new draconian anti-constitutional ideology. It's one where elected officials are seizing great power and broad power in order to control the lives and livelihoods of millions of U.S. citizens. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Nussbaum. Barry, this is incredibly ironic from the culture, California, in the 1960s that basically branded the term question authority. Here you have politicians acting under the color of authority, ripping away constitutional rights. Here's my question. Do California residents, the majority of them, even know that their right to assemble is enshrined in the First Amendment of the Constitution? Graham, this is martial law, but it's not called that because it's an emergency and people are scared. And what's really weird to me is the question that no one seems to be asking or even thinking about, which is, is the cure going to be worse than the disease? Yesterday, I went to Costco to fill up with groceries. I spent $600 on food for the four of us. My mother, when I was a little boy, would spend the same amount of food money, which was then $25. The dollar has been destroyed by incredible amounts of government spending, and nobody seems to care about it, but they're questioning whether it's enough to trillion dollars to cure a disease that now they're saying may just be a bad flu and they're revising all their models downward but yet the draconian responses the trashing of the constitution the restrictive travel and trade regulations oh my goodness i've never seen such an overreach of government power at least in my lifetime, well, I wasn't alive in World War II. All right, but we saw it not too long ago, Barry. You know, and this is my problem with this entire picture. This is what I've been screaming about from the very beginning, because I could sense what was happening here as these politicians started to close in on the constitutional rights of various citizens from coast to coast. A lot of it not happening in between those coasts, by the way. Some United States citizens still have their constitutional rights in Texas and places like that. But the, but the bottom line is, we saw this not long ago in 2009, this so-called rescue package, the so-called stimulus, the so-called shovel-ready jobs that did absolutely nothing to restart the United States economy because the government doesn't have the power to do it. Graham, check this out, just for a few things on the stimulus package that just passed. Seven and a half million dollars for the Smithsonian. $35 million for the Kennedy Center for Performing Arts, $3 million for forest research, $25 billion for the post office, $99 million for the Department of Energy and Science. They're spending money like we had it. This is made up money that it's going to be printed, that's going to be added to the national debt, that is all these pork projects. There's eight hundred pages of funding that nobody has read. This is like Obamacare. If you want to know what's in it, pass it first, read it later. Trust me, it's really great. Who in the world thinks this is ever going to be paid for with real right. money? Or will this debase the currency further and we're going to be paying for this for, well, a millennium? for a virus that in the end, Barry, I would bet my house on this because I'm looking at the numbers, I've been studying them, for a virus that the mortality rate is gonna end up to be at or lower than the seasonal flu. Barry, thanks.